Welcome first grade. I am so excited about this week's science. I'm actually going over an older weekly reader science spin edition to learn about spiders today. And I wish every one of you could hold it in your hands, but the next best thing is me reading it with you and I think you're going to really love it. This week we're looking at using our senses, mostly our eyes because I'm not touching them, and things to learn things we know about insects and spiders and the differences between insects and spiders. We've already learned that insects are not spiders, but today we're going to find out how we can tell. So let's begin. Weekly Reader Science Spin. Spiders. This is a tarantula. This spider can be more than seven inches long. It does not spin a web. Here we go. Let's meet three amazing spiders. First, on the left, read with me water spider can you say water spider I know it's pretty scary the thought that you'd be swimming and see a spider but let's look this spider lives in water it makes a web like a bubble the spider can breathe inside the bubble see that bubble holds air so you can go inside its bubble and actually breathe that is so cool let's look at the next kind of spider trap door spider this spider lives underground. It makes a trap door with its webbing. The spider opens the trap door, then insects fall inside. Ooh, that looks scary. When you see that spider on the ground, I bet I'd like to keep on walking. Let's look at the last spider, ogre-faced spider. That makes me think of Shrek. He was an ogre too. The ogre-faced spider uses its web to make a net. The spider holds the net in its legs. It uses the net to catch insects. It's almost like using its web as a net. Instead of hanging it on trees or on buildings like other spiders, it just holds it in its hands, and, or legs, I should say, and catches insects. Let's look at the bottom. This is the part I was most curious about. It says here, spiders are not insects. I'm gonna put a star there. It's very true. And that's one thing we have to know in this unit here of our senses and insects and spiders. Number one, spider. Spiders have eight legs. And I see that. Let's count the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see that a spider has eight legs. Spiders have two main body parts. And your other video and song talks about what they're called. But there's the abdomen and the other body parts. It's a big word. I'm going to let you pronounce it with the other video. But those are the two body parts on a spider. I also learned on another video I'm going to add right here that spiders have lots of eyes, usually eight of them. Lots of eyes. Now let's look at insects because that's not the same. Insects do not have eight legs. Insects have six legs. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not just ants, but all insects have six legs. And they have three main body parts. You see one, two, three. They have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So they have three parts. We'll learn more about those parts on other videos and songs in this lesson this week. But the main thing we're looking at for this book is the legs. That's one way to know whether it's a spider or an insect. This says find the spiders. Now that we've learned that, maybe you can help me find the spiders. I don't want to do this all by myself. It's kind of scary. Let's look at the first picture here. Is this a spider or an insect? Well, I'm going to do it by counting legs first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Ooh, if it has eight legs, it must be a spider. Creepy. Let's look at the next one. Is it a spider or an insect? Well, let's count the body parts this time, because I know spiders have two body parts. Insects have three. I see a head. I see a little midsection, thorax, and abdomen. I see three parts, so I'm going to say it's an insect. Oh, we are getting good at this. Let's look at the next one. Spider or insect? What do you think? 
How did you know? Did you count the legs? Because I agree with you. This is definitely a spider. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Wow, this next one's kind of tricky. Is it a spider or an insect? Now remember, most insects and spiders both have these two little parts that come off the front. See that right here on this first spider? Or even these insects. Sometimes they have antenna or pinchers. There's names for what they are on spiders. I don't want to count those as legs. So let's only count legs and see what we get here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is totally an insect. Next, I see some kind of a beetle. I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got it. Another insect. And this last one, let's see, it's kind of tricky. It's got a straight leg here, but let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd say that is a spider. Now let's look at the last question. It's a bonus. That means it's going to be kind of hard. Try this. How many legs do two spiders have? Oh, we've been doing so well in math. I know we can do it. One spider has eight. If another spider with eight comes along, I have a double with eight because eight plus eight. Oh, do you know your doubles? I hope you do. We're doing a lot more of those in the next unit too. Eight plus eight. Did you say 16? Well, if you did, you are right. Two spiders would have 16 legs all together. Well, that was fun. And this next unit in science is going to be way more fun than this even. So keep on watching the videos. Let's learn that insect spider song and even make our little model for submission later. And we're going to have a great week looking at spiders and insects. Bye now. Yeah.